So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have death. Death and rebirth. Let's look at the messages from the heart cards. Crossroads. feelings romantic let's look at a message card as well we're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading i want you to be so proud of me three of pentacles this talks about a soul contract that you have together so upon meeting you there's been this death of their old perception of life um, meeting you is put a death to like the old version of them because we have crossroads as well. Need to make a decision, unsure, dilemma, third party, love versus fear, burying head in the sand. Yeah, they feel deep romantic feelings for you. I feel like um, they weren't expecting to meet you. Maybe they were in some some other kind of commitment or just some sort of life circumstances um, that could potentially be seen as like an obstacle in your connection but they are very much caught up um, on on a specific path in their life you've come in and like the spanner in the works and this has completely changed their trajectory or it's changed them from within um, I want you to be so proud of me. This person, they're very invested in your connection. This person, um, it is a very deeply spiritual experience. So they're dedicating themselves to this spiritual path with you, this journey that you are both on. A lot of introspection is happening within your person. But yeah, some sort of obstacles here with the crossroads. Their true feelings. We have, yeah, look, the judgment. This is rising up out of a previous limiting mindset. Again, this is all about awakening, rising up. Before they met you, it's like they were in a lot of darkness. Um, because all this light, your connection, your love... It's a shiny light and look where the light shines. There's all these flowers growing. So you've brought this person life, okay? They could have been going through a lot of very intense death kind of energy or shadow energy endings. Maybe they were at rock bottom or they were suffering with depression, um, a poor self-image, things like that. You've come in as the guiding light into the rebirth. For some of you, this could be like the death of their unconsciousness and then becoming conscious, awakening, and, and you are this guiding light to bring them back home, like bring them back to truth. So your person, they're feeling somewhat pulled in two directions, like the 3D social matrix self or the full self. Um, before awakening and how we build up our life in many ways um, based on that but now it's like completely shattered their perceptions of that old reality in quotation marks and um, rising up in different in a different direction let's clarify this further extremism so your person they've been dealing with a lot of extreme energies frightening energies scary energies this could be tower moments in their 3d life this contributes to all of that darkness all of that shadow very extreme but you are like the light that's come in 
and you're like, this is the way home. This is the way into happiness. I saw at the bottom of this deck, I feel so happy when I'm with you. This is the Holy Trinity, the Three of Cups. You, your person, and the Divine. You are bringing this person back to God, or you're bringing this person into consciousness, into love and light and happiness. Optimism, as opposed to like extreme um, anxiety and fears. We have rebellion. You help this person have or come back to their personal empowerment in order to rebel like against um, this extremism. This could be how we're all blinded by the social matrix. Or they could be dealing with someone that's very extreme, very demanding maybe even abusive, that kind of energy. And this, you help this person have this power to say no and create these healthy boundaries. And this is making a huge change in their life for the better. Their true feelings. They see you as mirrors. They want to help you, okay? Cause, and they see you as vastly helping them. You make them stop and see the light and have this self-reflection. But yeah, reflecting each other. You could have a lot of affinity with each other. Maybe you've both um, struggled with healthy boundaries um, or people taking advantage of you. Because you are both these bright, shining lights. You are both these higher dimensional beings. And you've come up against a lot of opposition. A lot of people projecting onto you. A lot of people have been triggered by you and your person's light. And it made you both shrink. This person shrunk into like an, a prison. An, a mental prison. An internal prison. Trying to protect themselves. But you help them come back out. It says being honest with self. Wisdom, clarity, transformation and shadow work. Yeah. You've made this person stop in their tracks. And look at the bigger picture. And now they're like. They're seeing the false reality. And the true reality. The social matrix. Versus true reality. They're seeing who they really are. Versus the image they've received of themselves from other people's criticisms that they then adopted as their own self-criticism yeah look these are the thick walls that your person used subconsciously to protect themselves taking alone time problem solving depression isolation hermit sadness wounds shadow work but yeah you are the light at the end of the tunnel you've really come in and given this person the, the knowledge, the power to come into the light, to have a totally different perspective. This changes everything. Your person, they love you very, very deeply. They love you completely for many, many reasons because you are so familiar with each other's soul. You are the same soul in many cases, the yin and the yang. Um, but also a lot of this love they have for you is because you've completely transformed their life and they just have so much gratitude. Like they don't know where they would be right now if they hadn't met you, if they hadn't encountered you and this amazing connection, which was it's God like speaking through you. God is speaking through your connection, through your union to help you both rise up and come into that space self-empowerment of the light you are the light workers the light beings who you truly are is love <clears throat> and you are this guiding light to each other to help each other come back to that truth this person is constantly thinking about you with this daydreamer card fantasizing escapism yeah they've been in some sort of prison of fear but they're escaping this they have much bigger goals and dreams. They're filled with desire. It says passive, not taking action. Your connection is ungrounded at this time, but they're manifesting. It very much is a time of going inwards right now because this is where the biggest shifts are going to occur. 
as within, so without. Yeah, look, your person's been through a lot of betrayal. You are the one person that's come in and you are like, I love you so much. I love you completely. I will look after your heart. I respect you. I honor you. I see you. I see your beauty. I see your worth. So you are this protective, nurturing energy to this person. And this person, they are the same to you. I want you to be so proud of me. This is you working together as a team. They have this very protective energy over you as well. But yeah, they've gone through a lot of deception and lies from others, but also from that social matrix. Heartbreak, stabbed in the back, breakups, cheating, a lot of interference in their life. People trying to dictate to them who they are. And trying to dim their light because people have subconsciously, people that are in the shadows have felt threatened by your person's light. And it could be the same for you as well. Yeah, they've been through a lot of heartbreak. But they see you as the one that's come in who really, really loves them, who really sees them, who really has compassion for them and cares you know, you are gentle, you are nurturing with their heart, you take them seriously, you look into and see the real them. <clears throat> this is an epic love, okay, this is the love of a lifetime, they're realising that this earth plane, it's just like a movie, it's a theatre, it's an earth school and you and your person, these two tickets, your souls agreed to incarnate here and play these roles. Um, but this is an absolutely epic love. It goes way beyond any sort of fairy tale. Your person is very romantic at heart. Um, they've always believed in love. I feel like they've worn their heart on their sleeve and then had their heart broken a lot. But with you, you help them to feel safe to wear their heart on their sleeve and come back to opening their heart like never before. You're nurturing their heart back to good health because you are this safe sanctuary, this shelter for them. This is what you do for each other. This is a true love. It, you make them feel safe to open their heart. So they are... In this process of opening their heart to you like never before, like they've never opened their heart to anyone else. I will fight for us. So yeah, there could be some of those obstacles that I'm speaking about, but this is a determination. They're determined to make this work, to manifest more, to ground more of this union. With us, there is no end. They realized this when they met you, okay? They remembered you from the high realms. They remember you from the infinite. Um, there could be like interference th from third parties trying to get in the way of your connection, get in the way of your love. But it is true love. Therefore, it's unbreakable. It's the um, most powerful force. It's the only real truth. Love. Nothing can stop this love. I'm going for it. Wow. This is them releasing all of the baggage that's been holding them down. All of the fears. All of the illusions. All of the negative self-image. Anything that's been holding them back. They are releasing this now. And they are rising up like that judgment. They're, they're, they feel free. They feel guided. They feel safe to believe that they deserve um, this love they deserve this joy and so they're really really going for it so amazing shifts are occurring within your union and will continue to occur so if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that will really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here take care bye